My name is Dana, and I think I'm a bird nerd. Actually, I'm a nature photographer who likes to take pictures from right at her back door. Every year, I set up a garden on our back deck in hopes of attracting a variety of birds to our backyard. This allows me to take photos of them right from inside my back door. Every morning, I like to put out peanuts, grape jelly, and hummingbird nectar. Um, and this brings in a lot of blue jays, hummingbirds, and orioles. We get a lot of other birds too, though. I remember growing up watching Bob Ross with my grandma, sister, and aunt. And one thing that he used to say was, if he didn't feed the birds, who would? And that has always stayed with me, and it's something I think about every morning as I'm putting out my smorgasbord of treats for the birds. Um, if I didn't feed them, who would? We don't always just get birds to the back deck. Sometimes we get other creatures too. <laughs> I don't mind though. I think Bob would agree with me. If I didn't feed them, who would, right? Like you said, we'll do a time and a half and we play it live. Yeah, we will. That's what it always goes.
Dick. I'm an Asbarian. I was born and raised in Los Angeles, and during this transition to this farmland, my pastor's been helping me with uh, uh, these terms. So uh, I've been working on the, the combine, and after a day uh, working on this combine, running the combine, I uh, like to sit down and do what I think is uh, I'm pretty good at. So here we go. Well, here we are. Yeah, listen, uh, in the event this, uh, uh, I need to work on this combine to fix it or anything, my pastor has given me a few, uh, a few tools uh, to use. For example, here I have a, uh, a thingamajig. You notice there's no button. There's a decal, no button. Here's a, whatchamacallit, again, no button. Well. But I do have something I can fix it with. And it's a piece of paper. It's real simple. There's my paper. It's the uh, Michael Tears phone number. Hey, I call this number, everything is fixed. Anyway, while I'm running the uh, uh, combine, my pastor's always said that, geez, I'm a loss for words. I'm a loss for words. Well, guess what? I found him. And no wonder he's a loss for words. They're all the same word. Yeah, all the same word. Look at this. I found it. Whoop. All over the place. They're just... Yeah. Look at that. I hope he's okay. But here's my favorite word. <sighs> yeah. That's my favorite. So, after... Uh, after running this uh, machine, uh, I, I get what uh, I think that I do pretty good. Here we go. Uh, have you noticed there's a button? And coffee. Uh, good coffee. All right. How'd I do? How'd I do? Get over there, get him, get him. Come here.
Asbury Church. This is the world famous Asbury Church staff singing the Happy Staff song. Well, life in the church is kind of laid back, ain't much we hired workers, so we can't pack. It's early to work, even on track. Thank God we're a happy staff. Well, a simple kind of life never did us no harm. Breaking coffee, eating donuts, grabbing snacks from the car. Your days are all filled with a cheesy kind of charm. Thank God we're a happy staff. Well, we got a fine church, we got some great people with the sun swimming head towards the Hi, my name is Jason, and over the last several years, I have found that the best way for me to relax and to enjoy God's nature is to come fishing. I usually just come to my local neighborhood pond because that's the quickest, fastest way to go. I don't have to travel for hours, and it's just a really great way for me to enjoy all of these amazing things that God has created for us to enjoy. One of the things that's been a real blessing and a real bonus to the last 12 years of my fishing here at this particular pond is I've really gotten to know all of my neighbors. Uh, I pretty much know everyone around here and we've built good relationships with each other and that is just another way that I've uh, used what God has given me. So as I've gotten better at this over the years and, and got, found fishing to be more enjoyable, I have made my own fishing lures, and I really love fishing for bass. That's the most fun thing to fish for. So someday I'll get my own boat and, and do it that way, but I just love doing it this way. I love the equipment. I just have so much fun uh, learning how to catch the fish in, in these environments. And I do go elsewhere, but this is mostly where I come. Hey, my name is Nathan, and my talent is songwriting and recording. Sing my 
songs are kind of a journal. That's kind of for better or worse sometimes, but they're a snapshot of moments in my life, and I can relive any of them whenever I want by just pressing play. I was made inside a factory, so tell me why don't I fit the mold? I was somebody who kind of felt invisible at school, and I had trouble making the basketball team, but in the songwriting world, when, when you're writing a song, anything is possible. It's your world. You can shape it how you want it. Whenever I'm recording a new song, I always start with a temporary guitar track. It's just there so I can play the drums to it. Then I delete that guitar track and I record the real guitar track. After the guitar and drums are done, I usually record the bass guitar. And if there's any keyboard, I do that last, just before I do vocals. When the vocals are done, I do some editing, I mix the song, I master it, and it's ready to go. I've got a brand new song. So that's my secret talent. Now you know what I do on the weekends. Hi, Pam and I are bringing you this happy little song with some friends from Australia playing along. Sing it.